done for tonight. Ugh, that's two sold out shows performed in one night. That's gotta be a new record for me. Uh, oh, oh my god. Um, hi. Uh, you actually came. I was not expecting this tonight. Holy crap, this is even better than two sold out shows in the same night. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but can you give me some time to change and cool off? I just got done performing. Also, sorry for any trouble I have might cost you by dragging you out here. I just really wanted to talk to you. You did accept my invitation, though, and came out here on your own, so you obviously must have been intrigued. Uh, um, anyways, I'm, I'm so sorry, but please just wait here for me for a few minutes. Thank you. Yeah, okay. This is much better than before. Cooled off and relaxed. So I guess you already know why you're here, so I'll just get straight to the point. I... Uh, uh, wait, you don't know why you're here? Uh, are you telling me that you seriously have no clue why I would have requested a personal meeting with you? Do I really have to explain this to you? Fine. I guess I don't have a choice. I have traveled from continent to continent. Country to country. City to city. Venue to venue. During these travels, as you probably know, I have gained a massive amount of recognition and fame. Millions of people all around the world know my name, you know. Some of these people like more than just my music, though. I received thousands upon millions of letters, messages, videos, and other things. A good portion of these things are confessions of love. <laughs> it's always nice to get a letter from a little girl saying how much she loves my music, though. Those are the letters I kept. The rest, though, I always send it back. I respond, though, with the same letter or message every time. I'm sorry, but my heart belongs to someone else. As you can guess, since the internet just can't leave something alone, it's brought about some drama and confusion from media channels and companies. All of them are nothing but useless theories, though. There are only two people on this entire planet that currently knows the truth behind this claim. Me and my manager. We've already talked about it, so it's time I finally told someone else. That's why I chose you. You're not just some random people, though. Um, you're, you're special. S special to me. Because, um, you're the, the one I love. <sighs> After all this, it's... It's time I finally put all these rumors to rest. Uh, my heart belongs to you. And you only. Um, please accept my love. Uh, confuse? About what? Um, I couldn't have made it clear. I love you. Um, please go out with me. I really don't want to explain it in detail, but since it was you who asked, I don't have much of a choice. Um, okay, here we go. A few years ago... I was sitting alone at a table in the park. I was writing down some lyrics for a song, but I was having some trouble trying to figure out sentencing and how to relate things together. You passed by and saw me with my head down and asked, what's wrong? Uh, you sat down and helped me finish writing my lyrics. I said thank you, and then you walked off, never to be seen again by me. I told my manager about it and everything. I said I had never felt more defeated. I had let the person I love just walk away with my heart in hand. She said she would look into you. She gave up, though, a few months later. Jeez. I couldn't get you out of my mind, no matter what I did. My most popular song of all time, Falling in Love with No One, um... <laughs> That, that, that song was about you. 
a, a good portion of my songs are about you. No one else had the same look or the same charms you had. I could never find another person with the same personality as you. I thought I would be alone forever after that. Then two nights ago, though, after I had just returned to the hotel I was staying in, you bumped into me. You smiled and said sorry, then kept going. You left the hotel and entered the nearby apartment building. I, I am not joking when I say this. In the middle of the hotel lobby, I straight up screamed out of happiness. I sounded like a 17-year-old fangirl you know, who just saw her celebrity crush without a shirt on. My manager said the entire time she has been working with me, she has never heard me be that happy. I mean, she wasn't wrong. I was very happy. I finally found the person I had loved after two years. Um, by the way, I'm sorry about delivering a letter to your house every single day. I just really wanted to get your attention. I was too nervous to do it myself until last night. I finally got the courage to walk up to your door, knock on it, and personally hand you a letter written by me. I was scared you wouldn't even open it, but you obviously did because you're here right now, so um, thank goodness that worked out in the end. So yeah, now you're here, backstage at a show with me. Now you know the whole story. So um, will you give me an answer now? Um, do you or do you not accept my love? Uh, y you will? Okay, um, I really want to be with you, but I have to be honest with you. Are you sure? If you accept these terms, you'll be traveling all around the world with me. Are you sure you want this? Uh, all right. I, I like the sound of that. As long as we are together, you'll be happy. Then, then I guess we'll just never be apart again. <laughs> uh, I guess I should introduce you to the um, rest of the production team since you'll be traveling along with us now. Oh, this is all so sudden. Um, I, oh my god, um, I, I can't wait to spend some time with you. Um, just the two of us, spending our days and nights together, um, cuddling together by a warm fire wrapped in a blanket, our warm bodies um, pressing against each other, um, slowly leaning in for a... <coughs> Uh, sorry, I, I got kind of ahead of myself there. I'm sorry. Um, let's just take it step by step for now. I can't wait for it when that happens, though. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, before we go, um, can I ask for one thing, please? Can, um, can, can I hold you for a bit? I've waited years to be able to feel your warmth. Please, can you do this one thing at least? Uh, thank you. Uh, it, it, it feels so nice. <laughs> you are worth waiting for. Uh, being embraced by the one I have uh, so much crush on. I dearly love. I can't believe I spent my entire life never having experienced this feeling I, I don't think I could do without this now <sighs> thank you <laughs> um right uh, by the way what are we going to do about the media um, if the two of us just walk around hand in hand, they're most likely going to put two and two together and figure out that the two of us are, you know, in a relationship. Um, oh, my, my goodness. I, I, 
<laughs> wow. Um, I love that feistiness. Um, uh, all right then. Screw the media. We'll let our love be broadcast to the whole world. We'll take on any challenges or burdens together. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you to the production team now. Let's go. Bite your face to spite your nose. Seventeen and a half years old. Worrying about my brother finding out. Where's the fun in doing what you're told? 